The Perth rental market's vacancy rate has dropped to 1.6%, which is the lowest it's been since March 2008, a period of over 12 years. Rents are expected to spike and investors lured back into the market as stock continues to tighten. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to our market update video series where you can stay up to date with the markets that matter and find out what's happening in your local area. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So REWA President Damien Collins said a vacancy rate around double the current rate is generally considered a good balance between supply and demand, showing how tight the current market is. Now, Mr Collins said the vacancy rate has remained below 3% for 21 consecutive months, which has ensured rents generally started to stabilise after the post-mining boom downturn. However, with it now sitting below 2%, we are starting to see the impacts of limited stock, and it's only a matter of time before rents rise. In some areas, agents are already reporting rents are on the move up. We're also seeing vacancy rates decline in the regions, with some areas experiencing a vacancy rate lower than Perth, and those areas such as Albany and Kalgoorlie are both now under 1%. In July, there are over 3,500 properties for rent on rewa.com, which is 50% less than what was available in July 2019, only a year ago, and it's creating competition amongst prospective tenants. Mr Collins said there are a number of factors that may have contributed to the lowering of the vacancy rate, such as the lack of new supply due to investors staying out of the market, expats returning to WA and investors selling their investment properties. According to Rewa.com data, there were over 700,000 searches conducted for rental properties in WA during July, demonstrating rental properties are in high demand, with Scarborough the top search suburb, followed by South Perth, Mandurah and Joondalup. With the review of the Residential Tenancies COVID-19 Response Act coming up, it's vital the government remove all the restrictions and limitations for non-COVID-19 affected tenants. Mr Collins said investors are concerned about returning to the market due to the limitations of their ability to put rents to market and evict tenants who do not pay their rent. While we'd prefer to see the legislation slap, uh, lapse in its entirety, excuse me, there must be an ex uh, if there must be an extension, it must be for the very small number of tenants still affected. Mr Collins said if we don't encourage investors back in the market, then the rental shortage will only get worse. Well guys, that's it from me today. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot, bye for now.